Hi there, thanks so much for stopping by. This is Amy. I am going to be trying something new, um, a painting with palette knives on glass. I just, I love palette knife painting. It's become, uh, I guess, a fixation of mine. So I did this white wine glass using Wicker White, of course, one of my faves. Um, get it here. This looking like the opposite direction here. And then I used licorice. And I have some midnight in there. Now this particular, all these are folk art enamels, but this particular one is the multi-surface. The other two are just the plain enamel paint. Um, this product is created by Plaid. And that's what I'm going to be starting off with. I'm going to be doing the, these glasses in parts because I'm going to try this by allowing this to dry before I go ahead and do the next layering, which would actually be putting the leaves and petals on. Of course, it's going to be a floral, which that's what I love. Um, just to give you a little insight on the inside of the glass, you may still see some little spots that the glass is showing through, but I'm pretty sure by the time I'm done adding the leaves and florals that that will be covered up. This is the palette knife I'm using. It's a number three. I'm not really sure what all these are called. I probably should learn that. But anyhow, this is the one that I'm using. I had some palette knives and then I ordered some off of uh, Amazon. So as far as the brand goes, I just would recommend taking a peek at Amazon, seeing what they have. So I'm just going to get started here on this glass. And this, again, is just the regular enamel. Technically, when you do palette knife painting, you're going to be using some form of a 3D paint, meaning that it's heavy body. With doing the glass painting, obviously, I've got to stick with glass paint in order to do my creations because I, I want it to, to last and have good coverage and stay on the glass when people are using it. I figure that's probably a biggie, right? Now on these, because they're a little bit thicker, I'm not sure that I'm going to bake them. They might just have to do the curing by air drying. Not that I can't use them in less than 21 days, but um, it takes 21 days to be fully cured. I mean, every paint has a curing time frame, and with the folk art enamels, it's 21 days. But it is okay not to bake them. The um, you know main thing with baking, I think that does add some durability to the paint by baking them and setting them. But they're fine if you don't. And when it's thicker like this, you know I could try it, but if I end up liking the pattern that I'm creating, I'm not going to want to ruin it and take that chance. Because what you'll find will happen if you go ahead and, and you bake them, the, the, thicky, the thick paint can very likely bubble and then your, your design is actually not so beautiful anymore. So I'm not going to take that chance with these. Maybe later on if there's something I want to cover up and maybe some old glass that I have and I want to cover up and give it a try. Uh, you know, if you decide to try it yourself, you know, please feel free to let me know uh, how it worked out. But I'm just lightly touching the glass with this. And you might even find that maybe there's some smaller palette knives to use when you're using the glass if you want to give this a try. I just like the way it looks. I just like the muddled kind of design that doing the palette brush, not palette brush, but palette knives, you know, produces. And you know, this is this is like trial and error for me. This is actually the first set that I will be doing with this. So hopefully you'll stick with me and see how it turns out. And like I said, just because of the thickness of the paint, I am going to allow this to dry in between. And, and I don't really think 
hitting it with a hair dryer may or may not set it enough for me to continue on. I'm not going to take that chance either because I really don't want there to be more paint muddled than the three colors that I'm using right now. I don't want to be able to see that um, inside the glass. Not that, not that really the inside of the glass is really a priority with this type of painting, um, but that's just my my thing with with this with this set at least. You know, I might change my mind as time goes on, but we'll see. Again, this is trial and error, and this is something I recommend when you're trying to even come up with a type of paint that you like because everybody's different and the style of painting that you do is different it's not all the same um, I have my my lovely blue healer right now she is in the other room tearing up a box shredding everything that I received a shipment of wire and for some reason she acts as though it's hers and she's over there just shredding the heck out of it. As you can see I'm just you know lightly tapping. I mean you can go back over you can add color to this if you think ah oh, it's too dark you might want to you know throw some more white in here. I just like like just mixing it up you know and and I'm not trying to be have a, a precise edge on this at all. Now if you want to tape it off and have a clean edge that's awesome. Definitely with this process I don't think you're going to get two that are going to be identical or even remotely identical. Like I said you can take a peek in the glass and see if if you've got any openings and just kind of tap on it on the outside when looking in. I really don't think that's going to be a big ordeal you know for the glass like I said I think honestly by the time it's all said and done when you add the leaves and the florals and stuff to it that's pretty much going to be covered and if it's not I think its coverage is pretty pretty awesome like I said they're not identical not intended to be um, but I do recommend if you're trying to make a set to kind of do them at the same time that's why I decided to go ahead and do this video as I'm creating the sample because I feel like I know from past experiences if I kind of do a painting at the same time they'll be they'll be more similar than if I do one now and then 10 days later do one my chances are very slim that they're going to be even remotely close so like on this I'm going back through I guess I did add some white um, but I'm going back through it's actually looking pretty black but that's okay like I said but this you, your paints kind of get muddled as you're trying to use it so keep that in mind too you might have to refresh your paint to keep them separate the colors separated but it's okay you know I think it's I think it's an interesting look I'm trying to decide what flowers to paint on here. I've been watching, um, I might go with tulips. And I could have left the, the, the top of this, you know, actually had it come down a little further. Didn't have to necessarily have it come up so high. But that's pretty intentional too. And you can start it, you know, wherever you want. Um, if you're finding that you don't like how this looks, and I happen to get my big fingers in this, um, you know, do do something to finish it off. Or if you like the way this looks, just leave it, leave it as it is. So this is part number one. If you like my video, please give me a big thumbs up. I got paint on there, obviously. And if you like all my videos, subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications when I am actually putting another video on. Hit the bell that's at the by the listing 
or by the actual um, video so that that will actually send you a reminder or let you know when I do post another video and please share and I hope that you'll stop back to see the continuation of this project and until then thanks again for stopping by we will see you again soon I think they're I think they're awesome fun 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 so far all right until then have a good evening.